So I literally just did the outro to my other ones. It's really weird. But we're in Sydney. This is like our official day because yesterday all we did was sleep. We had a nap at two, didn't wake up till about seven. Went out down to the bar, then came back up at like 11, went to sleep, and then slept till like 6 a.m. So we're getting ready to check out of this room because this room was only available for one night. Um, and then the other room is a private room, but it's just, we have to use the shared bathrooms, which is going to be an experience because we've never done something like that before. Ava just put her backpack on. Oh, we need to take our lock off the door. This is actually so good. Like, you actually cannot open the door with this thing, right? Yeah, and it, it came in two, didn't it? Six pounds for two. Anyways, we're gonna drop the bags downstairs. It's so annoying though because I had to hit my laptop to like send off my videos and that's my editor and so out. dedicated guys. I honestly won't find I'm YouTuber like this. But the bag is so heavy. Days, it's like, I don't know how she gets to like having to carry that. But it is so Crazy heavy. Now. But I didn't want to leave it in my backpack. Yeah, we're gonna go find some breakfast. Guys, we're actually having to walk down the stairs because the lift. It's so jarring. Oh my god. <laughs> I've got no hands if I fall. Okay, I was able to leave my laptop behind the desk, which helped so much because it's actually bare heavy to carry. What is that on my screen? We were walking down here Look. yesterday and there's this little acai. This is it, isn't it? No, that's a uni. We found a place to do like acai bowls, which but I I'm eyeing up Taco Bell. <laughs> So pick me. Here it is. I'm a very berry girl. I'd pick the same as you, but I'd probably add banana, which I know you hate. Chia seeds are meant to be really good for you, aren't they? Yeah, they're meant to make you shit. <laughs> I'm gonna get a small banana, mango puree, passion fruit, strawberry, raspberries. And then I don't want nuts or seeds. And then honey toasted oats. Oh wait, does that say we don't have them? I might add peanut butter, honey, and then, yeah. I hope this is nice. Oh, Lord, Lord, it's gonna Guys, be 10 hours long. <laughs> it came, yeah. I'm sorry, it's actually it's banging. It actually does. I got peanut butter, though. That kind of ruins this day. Yeah, yeah. Is that chia seeds? I didn't get chia seeds. What is that? Oh, passion fruit. Oh, passion mm. fruit. Okay, so we've checked into the second room. It really trips me out that there's a mirror on the door like I, I don't know it's really weird but I prefer the layout of this room I think it's a bit too small I think it's because I'm a snob <laughs> right this is the shared bathrooms it's actually not bad to be fair like it's like the thing it literally smells like when you go swimming and it's the same maybe it's gone for a week but they're literally not even bad okay we're at Sydney Harbour look at these absolute clouds it's not the greatest of views. Anyways, there's actually Westfields here. I don't know why I was absolutely so stunned and absolutely shocked I when I heard There's a big herd of people that just come out. I've got tourists, eh? Jokes. <laughs> We're tourists. Anyways, I need to get a jumper, even though if I don't wear that jumper, there's actually no room. Then again, when am I actually going to be carrying my backpack? I'll just put it in my tote bag and when I will be carrying my backpack I'll probably walk my jumper because we'll be on a train, a, a bus or some sort of whatever. Guys look, the Sydney Opera House, wow. Oh and, and the, what's it, <laughs> the, the Harbour Bridge which me and Ava didn't actually know was like a famous landmark. Is like, that like, what, what are the walls there? Are they like the white walls of, like the white walls of Dover? <laughs> I only knew that this was a thing because of them TikToks from the in between us sound where it's like that is bad that fucking thing not that the spaceship but where would I've ever seen the Sydney Opera House it's located? It's common landmark knowledge, isn't it? You did geography. Also, I found a jumper. I brought it. The sun came out. Then it got a bit chilly, so I put the jumper on. Then it got hot again, so now I'm actually roasting. But we're gonna go for some lunch. Um, around here so that we have like a nice view. I really just wanted to clearly take in the culture of Australia and got fish and chips. But Ava's pasta actually looks banging. But the best part is the view. Look how cute. What? You don't care about the view. Guys, we're so jet lagged. We're actually so tired. What, what time is it? Eight. Eight o'clock. But then I tell you, if it was like and three in the morning. Mate. If you were actually someone that was next door, you'd actually think we're like, I don't, I don't even know, like I'm about to sacrifice myself because I'm like, I'm just going to do it. She's like, don't do it, Casey. Don't do it. I'm like, hey, but it's just so painful. I'm just going to do it. Let's just do it. She's like, Casey, don't do it. It's 
because I'm actually trying so hard to keep myself awake. And it's not. I'm so tired. She's going. She's going. I'm just do it. And I'm like, we will wake up at three. Like it stings. Like it hurts. We're in so and much pain. She's like, we'll get food. I'm like, I'm not even hungry. And she's like, get your power rate. But that's all the way over there. But it was just, it was actually so cold in the, in the other room. Although, to be fair, it's actually a little bit chilly in here as we well. We're actually spooning. And also, these windows, I actually don't know how they work. Also, we used the um, shared bathroom for the first time we had a shower. Uh, to be fair, it wasn't that bad. Like, Did you keep your sliders on? Yeah, I kept my sliders on, but it felt really weird being naked with shoes on. <laughs> like, I was like, should I be wearing a bikini? I'm so cold. And Domino's here is so cheap. I know, but I'm really not hungry at all. I know, but we need energy. We can't go to sleep till at least We actually 10. technically can go to sleep. Right. Anyway, so we're going to go to sleep, guys. No, we're not. Another day in <laughs> Sydney. And we are going to the zoo. Because I'm so excited. I'm actually excited to go to the zoo as well. When I tell you, any zoo, aquarium, um, Aquarius farm anything like that. I've always hated since I was younger because I think they're just so boring looking I, at animals. I but this love, one looks so fun. I love the zoo. Like I actually really really, really? Like the zoo. I just find them so boring. But this one I'm actually excited for because you get to like feed the kangaroos and that. Oh yeah, I washed my hair in the shared shower today. It was it was actually fine, but I did let my hair um, dry naturally, so it's gone a bit wavy. So I think I'm gonna have to end up wait, putting wait, it wait, up. Yeah. <laughs> We were looking at like the, there's like as if there was an animal that sank in the tree. I don't know what it was. Yeah. It was a tree oh, it was a tree kangaroo. And Ava's looking and she goes, and I was on my phone and she goes, can you see it? And I looked up and I grabbed her and I went, oh, this fucking kangaroo. <laughs> just there. Oh my god, okay, you get here now. <laughs> How do we know it's not gonna beat the shit out of us? Wow. Look at that. Oh my god, it's a bird. Oh my god, it's Ava Daniels. Like, Guys, we just found out they're not kangaroos. They're wallabies. They're wallabies. Okay, I can't lie. Seeing an elephant this up close is actually quite sick. And then we also stopped and got, like, they're basically tango ice blasts. But I had to buy a little carton of apple juice as well because I was actually so thirsty and I knew this isn't like a drink that you drink if you're thirsty, so I downed that. We got the ferry back to Sydney Harbour. There's the Sydney Opera House. We're being, like, very good today. Like, we've actually only one cool past one. Yeah, I know. So we stopped off for some drinks. <laughs> it's only cool past one. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped off for some drinks. I got a watermelon daiquiri. And then look, Sydney Bridge right there. It's actually so aesthetic. Like, so cutesy vibes. And then you turn the camera and this is actually what it looked like, which just ruins the cute vibes. Anyways, I'm going to do a taste test of this drink. It's not coming up. It tastes quite strong. I, don't think, I think it's quite nice. I don't really know. It's not really coming out properly. Like, I also order, ordered calamari because I'm not like really hungry, but I was like a little bit peckish. And it came with alioli, and alioli is my absolute favorite thing ever. <laughs> so, okay, so we went and got ice cream. Me and Ava are like the complete opposite, and like quite a lot of things to be fair. My top flavors that I was looking for was like banana, coconut, Kinder Bueno, which is like. Her absolute worst nightmare. She got a raspberry sorbet, which is like, I would never pick in a million years. Do you think pops are better than the cones? Do you know what? It's only because the cones stress me out because I feel like they're always like melting and no, it goes sticky. Like that. Cups are just easy. But also even like, one of my favorite foods is like brunch. Like I love getting like avocado on toast with egg. Again, she hates all breakfast foods. And brunch foods. I hate avocado, yeah. I don't really like egg. I'll eat pancakes if they're McDonald's breakfast pancakes. Like, <laughs> I stay up later than her and she'll normally wake up earlier than me. Although this holiday, I've actually woken up before you, which is weird. Guys, we've come to the beach today. Look how nice this view is. Because we wanted to go to a quiet beach and I, d I can't remember if I vlogged when we came to this beach last time. It was the other day and it was obviously cloudy when we came so no one was there anyways, it wasn't great weather. But it's also just more of a secluded beach. I'm hoping that hardly anyone, hardly anyone, hardly any people are gonna be there. But it's also just really cute. You've got this little walkway. Look at this, this is actually sick. Guys, we were just on the beach here. Yeah? We've had no snacks and look what just pulled up. It's a fucking shop. It's actually a shop. Guys, I got a Coke Zero at the shop and then now me and Ava have come here to get pictures. 
No, I'm sorry, that is the sickest thing I've ever seen. Anyways, we've decided we're going to get Instagrams up here. It looks quite cool. We were um, getting Instagrams, and then this girl came over and said that she watches my videos. And then... Which I don't know why. Which you don't know why, because they're fucking amazing. And then she was like, oh, I saw you guys taking pictures. Like, do you want me to get some of you? I was like, yeah. So she got ones of me and Ava together. There goes my Coke Zero. Definitely has sand in that now. Bye. <laughs> going to the coach. I can't do this. This bag is so fucking heavy. I actually can't deal. At least we've made friends though. They're taking us there because they know what they're doing a bit more. You know what? I can't even talk because I can't breathe right now. <laughs> okay, so we just got on the bus. Ava gets the window because she had the middle when we were flying. But 13 hours on this bus. But at least like this time, like we can actually go to sleep because like last time our plane was like really odd timing. Yeah. The only problem is the chargers are USB, and we didn't realise. And all our stuff is like the fast chargers. But my portable plugs into there, so I can maybe plug that into there, and then my charger and my portable. Fucking out six pages into a book, and who she is? Sixty. Oh my god. That side looks well. I can't film that side because I'll film everyone. Instead, I'll just film this view. <laughs> Hi guys, so we just checked into our new hostel. The bus wasn't like that bad in the end. Like we set the most of it. We actually did. Like it actually went quite quick because I like, set for like I went to sleep at like twelve. And then I was like in and out of sleep until about seven. And then obviously only had an hour left. And it was like perfect because we woke up when there was like a service station. So got off, got a little McDonald's breakfast and brushed our teeth. And then we got here at like, for like I don't know, half eight or something like that. The check-in wasn't until two. God, Ava's been sat there looking at her phone every five minutes. No, but you don't understand but how long it's actually been. Uh, we just went and put our bikinis on. And then we've just been chilling by the pool because there's like a nice pool area. Yeah, we, we was able to get- really nice. Yeah, we've got eyes, we've made friends. Like friends, we actually can like see ourselves like as like a home friend, like going out with them, do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, we actually got along with them really well. We're gonna go out with them tonight to like some bars and that. But anyway, so the room, this room's quite a weird layout. So there's like, it's this eight shared room, but then you the walk pillows, through. Like you say, look absolutely amazing. <laughs> you walk through. And then we've got our own like part of the room and then we just share a bathroom with room and it's actually fun and it's not too cold in here as well because the last hostel was actually freezing. But I just get such better vibes from this place because there's like a pool area so I feel like you have somewhere just to like relax and because you've got a pool area we've spoke to so many people because you're just all chilling around the same area like it's brilliant and we've met the next group that we're going to be with so kate elizabeth's here as well and she's with her group we're kind of joining their group at after byron bay we're going to go and get some lunch with bear we've really been craving a caesar salad so there's the like a little cafe room. here so we're going to hope that there's like a little if they do not there is subway and subway if you know subway they do the best salads like i don't understand how they do such good salads yeah, I mean, I've never actually had a Subway salad, so I don't know what I'm even saying yet. Yeah. Right, guys, we've got ready. Have you got this? I'm wearing a black dress, and we're meeting our new, our new friends. Our new friends um, at the bar. Oh, look, they're already here. Guys, these are our friends. <laughs> Me and Ava weren't making them up. We did actually make friends. But we were just at the um, bar in our hostel, and then now we're going to go to a bar. But what the hell's going on? We're going to piano bar and then we're going to another club. If you can even hear me. We was only in there for like 45 minutes. It was packed and also we're so tired. We're actually so tired. Like we haven't had proper sleep because it's just been broken so I think we all just need to go to bed because <laughs> my eyes are literally felt like they were so heavy. Rise and shine. We've got a surf lesson today which is actually three hours which is actually so long. I've done surf lessons before. I've never done a three hour one so I don't know if I'm actually going to make it through three hours. Last night we came home early because we were so tired from the bus and also me and Ava have been a little bit homesick. I don't really know what it is. There's like there's just something that I just feel a bit off and I think it's just because it's like I didn't expect travelling to be like I don't know what it is I just felt a bit off me and Ava may have just cried yesterday in the room but it's fine but um, I'm also really excited because tomorrow we've got the dolphin kayak 
and I've got my GoPro, so taking it up a notch, and this is professional shit, so clip to us surfing. Oh, you draw. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so me and Ava were gonna go and walk up the, there's like a lighthouse that everyone does like this walk up. Um, we were gonna get food, walk up there and then go see the sunset, but she decided that she wasn't really feeling it. I tried to convince her to come, but she just wasn't feeling it. So I'm meeting the girls that we were with yesterday, Connie and Anastasia, and we were with them in the surf lesson as well. I'm meeting them outside. They said they'd be like two minutes, but I feel really awkward standing by myself. But I just feel like it's cute, wholesome vibes. Like I'd rather that than go on a night out. And we, cause me and Ava were gonna do the lighthouse trek. Um, I had like trainers and I put on shorts and a top, but because we're now, now they're just gonna go to the beach. So I brought like a little bikini Oh my god, they told me to bring a towel and I forgot. Shit, let me run back and grab a towel because they literally told me to bring one. Guys, I just came out to get my towel. What the <laughs> actual is going on? Oh my god. If you are from Australia, this is probably so normal, but this is not normal to me. Okay, we made it to the beach and we trekked all this way because we were going to go up them steps, but then we realised you can't really like sit down or anything. So now we're here. They bought strawberries and raspberries. <laughs> Such a cute vibe. Guys, I'm sorry, look how cute the sunset is. Love watching the sunset and we got pictures here as well. That was when I realized I actually should have put makeup on because I actually look a state. My face just doesn't tan, it's just not given. And my hair, there's no hair dry, so it just dried weird, but cute. I mean, it doesn't look the best now. I think this is actually one of the best sunsets I've ever seen. And then all of a sudden, everyone just disappeared. Like there were so many people around and now they've all gone. And like, when I tell you, there's these little bugs that keep biting us. And I literally looked down and I had about five on my leg, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it was when I looked down. Bruv, it's gonna be dark soon. We've come from frozen yogurt. Look how cool this is. You pick your size and then you can do whichever flavours you want. Okay, I made the mistake, so basically I thought you just pick your tub size in and that's it. So obviously I went for it. And then I'm like, cool, you're proper filling it up. And I was like, well, yeah, obviously. And then I read it and it's like $3 per 100 grams. So it was like $18, which, well, that's like seven quid. That's not even that bad. Okay, so today we did the dolphin kayaks. We went at like 9 a.m., it was a three hour thing. Ava nearly backed out, but she didn't. And I should have. <laughs> actually took out all my strength. Like, I did not realize how much kayaking is actually exhausting. Like, my arms, everything was hurting. And after all that, we didn't see any dolphins, but I'll insert the clips anyways, because it still was a cute like, activity. This is my kind of vibe. We've got pizza. And Casey, got... um, movie nights on behind you, do you mind? <laughs> oh, sorry. Big is it outside? Oh my god, I did not realise that. What the hell? That's actually so cute. Pizza, drinks. I was thinking, why have they got speakers out here? Cute vibe. Guys, they just did odds on, yeah, that she has to jump in the pool. And they got the same number. Oh my god. Whoever actually follows through with an odd song. Right, see ya, get away. 
Hey guys, so we are now in a surplus paradise and we're only here for one night. Thank, Thank God. God. <laughs> <laughs> only because it's just like, it's, it feels it's like really weird. Pollution. It's like a city, but there's still a beach and everything. And then the hostel that we're in has like a pool now, which is good because we were able again just to chill in the pool before we had to check in. Apparently the nightlife is over really good, but then I found out that the nightlife is more like a Magaluf kind of vibe. Which I wasn't I don't know what, if someone says that, oh, the nightlife's good in like a place, you automatically think like stuff like that. I don't know what you. Yeah, but like, I just thought like London's like, but that's yeah, not but a that's good nightlife to me. That's like, yeah, that's because every, everyone enjoys stuff like that. Except us. But like, I, like I would say good nightlife is like it's, it's London exactly. kind of vibe. Anyways, we're gonna try and find some place to get food. Ava also wants to go to Cottenham because they have like these like really nice white sandals that are like they look like the Birkenstock ones. Tomorrow we go to Brisbane for two nights. Why I'm excited to go to Brisbane is because we booked a hotel and an apartment. Yeah, it's an apartment. Yeah, sorry, it's an apartment. Um, and it's because there's a couple of reasons. So the Wi-Fi in the hostels are so bad that I tried to send over all like my clips to my editor and it was going to take 300 hours and I was going to go to the library there because there was a library near our hostel which I found out on like the second to last day but it was shut because it was Sunday and then obviously I couldn't go this morning because we had to check out and that and get the bus so I booked so that's one reason also it has a washing machine and dryer so we're able to wash all of our clothes also just more of like a refresh just to like because staying in hostels and that with like like you don't get much privacy with like shared bathrooms and that so i just feel like i just need like a little refresh um so i'm so excited it has like a pool a gym sauna i know i wish we were there for longer than two nights honestly i'm just so excited just to have our own space anyways ava's found her sandals me and ava have been craving a caesar salad like since we got to Australia, just because it's so like fresh and you could, it's nice to have on your hot. We just found this um, Italian restaurant that I have seen salads, but now I'm at an Italian restaurant, I kind of want pasta. Yeah, same. But we said that we're going to do a pasta night in Brisbane when we've got our kitchen because our the girls that we met are coming to Brisbane and they overlap with us for the day, so they're going to come round and we're going to have like pasta and wine night. I think I'm going to stick to the Caesar. I'm literally doing this outro probably like what two nearly three weeks into the <laughs> into the trip but it's only because um obviously i struggled so much getting everything out everything out does that make sense like sending my clips over it was taking like 300 hours whatever so i've only just been able to send it and then i realized i literally forgot to do an outro so i feel like i've kind of even forgotten what's gone gone on um but if i think in the beginning we, we were quite homesick in these vlogs so that's why we might seem a bit down because I think um, traveling was like a big, it's quite like a big difference when you just are used to just going on holidays and things like that. So um, I did actually get very homesick in the first week and there was a lot of tears <laughs> between me and Ava. Um, but literally after Byron Bay when we started making friends um, and you're seeing like vlogs coming up that I'm now at the point like I actually don't want to leave. Like I don't want to leave Australia and I don't have long left. Um, so yeah, anyways, make sure you guys keep up with the vlogs, um, as they just get more and more exciting as more things get booked. Um, also, we have flown out here with My Adventure Project, and they kindly gifted us this trip, which I'm actually so excited, and they're such a good company. I never would have been able to have planned it all. I just feel like Thailand's more easy to plan by yourself, because it's just so much is on TikTok, but with Australia, I just feel like it just takes the stress off of, of like, booking it and they literally give you they book you everything from like the buses to activities and you literally just give them all the kind of activities you want to do the place you want to go to and they literally book it all for you it's so easy and they're easy to contact as well so if anything goes wrong they're literally a phone call a message away um so make sure you go check them out as they've literally been so good and helped us so much anyways see you guys next time bye